Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 9 and 10 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see how, you know, Bunny <laughs> um, handles the situation. <laughs> Honestly, if it was me, I'd kill him. And you, woke it all, <gasps> killed him. Why, though? I mean, you know, that's hella fucked up, but still. I mean, you know, if she really wanted to, she could kill you. I wouldn't be mad about that. Then you die, you become Tanjiro, and then, you know, eventually you just, you know, you save your little sister Nezuko, the precious baby girl that we all love and adore so much. But, oh, yeah, I mean, oh, boy. I hate to be real little right now, like, mm. To have a relationship with Bunny since episode one, and now in nine, that teamwork, that trust that they've had in each other, the comfort that they've had, the moments that they've, like, sat and talked to each other, in a way that's like, it's gone. <laughs> that is gone. Bunny is over here like, fuck you and your bullshit that, <laughs> that you walked on, like, I am about to kill you. No, you killed my brother. Like, mm mm, that's a big no no. Like, no 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 no. Yeah 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 yeah. No, like you can't do that. But he did it. It's fucked up though. But do I think Wokuro is going to fight her? Possibly not, because he is a little like too into the moment right now and he might be like he, hell he might do a freaking yugi yami yugi moment ish who knows and be depressed as fuck for an episode Who the hell is he? Okay, hold on. Um, the voice is familiar to me. That's not Megamine, is it? Like... That sounds like Megamine got uh, what's her face? I wouldn't be surprised. Like, either that's Shota Aoi or that's Megamine. But, mm -mm. I mean, but I ain't surprised about, you know, that, but. (laughs) 
You you know if you attack, um, okay, never mind. I don't know. But hold on, what exactly did he do? That is my green. Come on now. I know that voice. I know that woman's voice. Come on now. Oh, yeah, it's gonna make it strong as Roko and Yuko, right? Like, poor oh, shit. <laughs> I would be worried too. Y'all about to die. Like, see, it wasn't really surprising to me that Yuto was alive and such, but of course. Benny is gonna have the hardest time to deal with this, but bro, what the hell are we about to do? They dead. Dead. Hell, they gonna be dead too when he get back. Hmm? No, the the door's stuck or locked. Yeah, y'all in corpse party. Get the fuck out. No, uh, if it was, I mean, it would be easier for him to open it. Oh, what the? Oh, hell. Mm -mm. Jesus, protect me. Oh, she dead. Damn. But the door is locked. Where the fuck y'all gonna go?
Oh, that's fucked up. Why did this episode get so dark? Jesus Christ! Like, oh! Utah, what the fuck? I mean, no, like, if Utah is voiced by Megamine Ota, this ain't Utah, this is fucking Naito Kamaida, like, oh my god. You can't turn back. It's by killing him. Mm -hmm. But, okay, my thing is, why would Yuto do something like this? Does he hate Okoro so much? Are you jealous of him? Was your brother? What the fuck happened? So, um, can can we have an episode on Uto, please? Like, what the fuck happened after this situation? Hell, what happened before this situation? But why? Did, okay, hold on. Did, were you like Junko? Did you do it like ever since you were born, you hated everything and you wanted everything to die and this is that and the third? Oh, those are fake. Oh, of course. Benny, I'm so sorry. God, you are such a dick! Oh my god, but you know what? I like you. I do like you. If you are you, I think you are VA expecting, but like, oh my god.
I know, he just went right into it. You know, you really shouldn't get angry sometimes, you know? That just tells you that you told Mokuro, like, Mokuro is miles behind Yuto. He's too powerful for him. He can't go against him like this. He needs to control it. But in a way, he can't. Ever since those two years ago, he's had all this anger and hatred and sadness and remorse. Hell, he ain't even, Yuto ain't even trying. He like, mm. Of course she would do that because that is your brother. Oh, don't worry, that can be arranged. I mean... <laughs> Y'all making me fall for this kid. Oh my god. What is wrong with you, Jesus Christ? Oh, fuck. It's always the bad boys, ain't it, DJ? Always the bad boys. Yes. Right about that. Yeah, don't blame yourself. Benny. 
Oh. Please. Hell, I just want to know why the fuck you don't did this shit. And let me guess, we are probably not going to see you two again until, like, the final few episodes of this show. Okay, so, if, because your girl wants to look this up and see if Yuto is played by Megamine Ulta, because if that is... Megamine Ulta, bruh, like, thank you. This is already now the best show because, you know, your girl who is in love with Akudama Drive and Danganronpa and anything else that she's also been in, um, and also blame Kadaka, because, you know, he knew that power that Megamine Ulta has. And hell, I mean, same thing in Hanukkah and everything. But I, I do want an episode solemnly on Yuto and why he his backstory and why he feels his way towards Rokuto. Rokuto is just you know a nice sweet person. Yes he has anger mission, <laughs> anger problems we all know that we've seen that since episode one but we still love him as a character. He's a very sweet and passionate boy with whatever he wants to do but to me Yuto Maybe it's just he's been like that ever since he was born. Maybe he just hated the world just as much as other people or anime characters are. Especially, you know, when you have creators like Kanaka. Um, the person who made Death Note and this immediately saying, Hey, I am bored with the world. I hate the world. I want it to change. I want it to burn. It's like that. Who knows what you do dealt with growing up and maybe we'll get to see it maybe we won't I mean because honestly that's what I really would like to see I get the fact that we're not possibly going to get it like as soon as possible as I want it's very similar to how like when I started March comes in like a lion and the situation on Nikaido and how he was sick and I was over here like demanding people not really demanding but like asking people like what the fuck is wrong with him and such and everybody was like oh no no it ain't time to really talk about that that's just like one needle and like this big haystack of this show that eventually you are going to um see but now is it the time and it feels like that especially with the Yuto situation and I'm guessing because to know that number one it wasn't Rokuro's fault in the end it was Yuto's fault for you know doing this because it seems like he is jealous of Rokuro I get that but still there is something else there and I'm guessing we're going to get that. But I hate the fact that I probably have to wait umpteen episodes to get to that moment. But I think when we do get to an episode like that, it will honestly be worth it. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alrighty, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so your girl was wrong. That is not Megami and Ota. Um, I know his name. Because it is a guy who's playing this character. I just... 
there's something else he was in probably new for me that I can't remember. Really? God, you are a dick. But you don't want to let it overtake you, though. And you don't want to hurt her again. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is she pretty? What the hell is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a freaking hair stuck on my nose and it won't come off. Damn. But seriously, yes. Give me that Yuto episode, like, ASAP. Take your time, though. But then at the same time, just give it to me when you're ready. I mean, Subaru, you are really pretty, though. I like her hair. And how did training go between you two? I mean, it had to go well, but... Uh-uh, okay. Uh, okay. I ain't thought that I... <laughs> oh, so you're like, what's your face from Love Live? Okay, you guys say that now, but possibly by the end of the series, you guys are going to get married and have kids. Like, I know it, possibly. Hell, probably the people who have already seen this series know it as well. She has to be.
Well, damn, just like that? I thought you would have said no at first. Hmm? What if it's just like a shopping list? Thank you. Like an actual girl. <laughs> Is this a day in the day? Oh. Floor is all yours. Who the hell wants to hear just okay? Do you want to hold her pinky first? Oh, damn. Mm
Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. she's a girl you know the things that we eat like it just goes right through us mm -hmm. Super cute. And we don't want that. Hmm. Mm, I figured that would happen. So he can't control it right now because he's too angry about it. Because that's not him.
See, the demons are like them things from freaking Wonder Egg, and I can't look at them the same way again, except, you know, they, you know, the ones in Wonder Egg, they, they got black eyes, they got red eyes in this. <laughs> She's right. The fact that she can do this on her own, I mean, guys, that just tells you how powerful as fuck she is. She might even be, like, best girl for me right now. I mean, because, like, you know, no, because I still love Maida. Maida is adorable. He's very silent and sweet, but you know, when it's time for him to fight, he goes, <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Benny <laughs> Yeah, this is your first official date 
It is. <laughs> I'm guessing she's just gonna stay here for a while because she has to train you guys. It's nice, I like it. She's very funny. I love how she can be very, like, subtle <laughs> in her jokes and her wording as well. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting sleepy again at 1.33. Um, but yeah, she's, <laughs> she's OP as fuck, but she's funny. Hella funny. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> official date today that was so fucking cute like oh my god <laughs> my heart I mean I bet you like any girl who watched this of course is like oh and the guys you know guys just like yeah it's whatever <laughs> cause you know but still just being with someone who you really care about it just makes you super duper happy you know but yeah, it was cute. Like, all the cute little lovey dovey things that they did. <laughs> but in a way, it did help, especially in, towards the end. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> of course, he has a porno magazine in his room. Honestly, nothing else to say. I think she is gonna be a real good trip. She already funny as hell anyway. She made me laugh. Like <laughs> Oh god. I, I can't imagine the other things that they're going to be getting into with her training them for the next few episodes, but it's gonna be so good and adorable and cute. Probably a little bit embarrassing to <laughs> despite what the hell is probably gonna happen next. <laughs> but honestly, I can't wait to see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review to episodes 9 and 10 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons. And next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.